UNICEF also 67, this is a UNICEF statement also uh, asymptomatic. There are physiological reasons also because children, they ha do not have the ACE receptors in the lungs. The virus attaches to the ACE receptors, the children do not have. So therefore, there is no viral replication in the children. So they can't be super spread also, they do not suffer more also. And uh, secondly, they have a very active thymus gland. Thymus is the big uh, gland in, in front there. It's very big in the children and it decreases with uh, atrophies later in life. So that thymus gland produces the T cells and other cells which are very active immunity. And they have high level of hormone melatonin, which also is important in immunity against COVID. So these are the physiological reasons also, besides the other reasons, the data, besides the data. So this is uh, Sweden. Sweden, we have got some data from Sweden, which is uh, important because they never kept the schools. They, they kept the schools open throughout the pandemic. So low incidence of severe COVID school children of yeah, out of uh, Sweden is a small country, but it can be just an experiment, uh, natural experiment to extrapolate how uh, COVID will behave. So they had uh, only 15 cases who were admitted to ICU and uh, multi-inflammatory systemic disease or multi-inflammatory disease related to COVID, that is Kawasaki syndrome as the fear, there were just 15 had and all survived. And the one child in 1.3 lakh required admission in ICU. So that very rare child got admitted in Sweden. And that to Sweden, this data is during the first wave, which was more severe than the current wave, which is Omicron, which is 10 times milder. So one can imagine that now the risk for children is all, almost negligible. So this is the data I was talking about. Uh, from seven European countries, the pediatric data have been collected and published. So they have done that out of... Uh, 42,846 deaths in children from seven countries during that six-month period of the first wave, only 44 deaths were due to COVID. And 44 deaths out of 42,846 pediatric cases admitted, which was only 44 died. And the case fatality rate is 0.1% in children. And as I said, case fatality rate are those detected, the so 0.1%. It does not, denominator does not include the large number of children which would be in the community having asymptomatic, who do not get admitted. So even if the admitted cases, the case fatality rate is 0.1%, one can imagine that case fatality rate would be 1 in 1 million in the actual population. And compared to this 44 deaths, there were 30, 13,200 deaths among children due to other causes. Your children die of many causes. So these were accidents. Maximum uh, cause of death in children were accidents, other respiratory infection, lower respiratory infections, and influenza. Even influenza is a bigger killer than COVID in children. And the authors concluded that in, out of all causes children died, 99.7% they died of other causes, only 0.3% died due to COVID. So you see, this perspective is important for public health planning. So if you even if you immunize every child, which may not be required because mortality is very rare, you don't achieve anything extra. 99.7 times they will be dying of other childhood diseases. And this is in a Western country. All the European countries are more developed than India. In India, we have got many other causes of child mortality. Every day, 2,000 children die in India. I, many doctors are not aware of this status, available in the public domain. 2,000 children die in India. Many die of diarrhea, many die of respiratory infections, other respiratory infections, all under a background of malnutrition. Accidents, accidents kill 400 young people every day. Road traffic accidents kill 400 people every day. So these are the other, when you are planning a public health policy, you have to see all the diseases. Then Japanese encephalitis kills, dengue kills children, typhoid kills children. In spite of, uh, so if you see, this is a uh, European data. If we have the similar type of statistics, we may find that hardly point, less than 0.1 may be contributing by COVID.